गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट विल कंटिन्यू द सेम मॉडल नंबर फाइव जॉइंट प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो इन दिस मॉडल वी हैव सीन द कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर अ जॉइंट प्रोबेबिलिटी टेबल देन मार्जिनल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हाउ टू फाइंड एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वेरिएबल एक्स एंड वेरिएबल वाई then we have seen uh, the covariance relation so to find covariance uh, we have seen expectation of x y mean of x and mean of y in detail with the uh, two examples we have seen in the previous class now we will continue the same again uh, but in a little bit different way uh, means uh, table they will give and we need to work out the uh, for the joint uh, probability table then we need to find the required quotient so now we'll see the new question that is suppose x and y are independent random variable with the following respective distribution find the joint distribution of x and y also verify the covariance is equal to 0 so this is a required Uh, question here. So in this, they have given the marginal uh, uh, dist probability distribution. If they have given x value and f of x, y value and g of y value, it understood that they have given marginal. So with the help of this marginal distribution, we need to prepare a joint probability distribution first. Then we have to go for the remaining. Uh, that is, uh, what is the co uh, covariance of x and y? So since here I have taken directly, since x and y are independent of Uh, independent the joint distribution j of xy j joint distribution stand for i am taking i have taken as j of xy is obtained by using the definition uh, f of xi into g of uh, yj is equal to j means first value second value whatever resultant will get will write so here just you uh, observe in the table so i have prepared one table here the table is i have taken the values of y that is minus 2 5 8 so i had taken that minus 2 5 8 so i had taken here and with respect to the values of minus 2 5 8 that is uh, minus 2 g of yj is what here 0.3 i had taken here 0.3 for 5 0.5 and for 8 0.2 i had taken similarly for x value 1 2 i had taken 1 2 and with respect to f of x values are 0.7 0.7 here and for 2 it is 0.3 so this is they have given in the question so in the middle part so we need to fill so i will say this this is j11 okay so this is j12 fine and this is j of 13 means first row third column similarly this is j of second row first column j22 and j23 so i need to get the value of j11 j12 j13 uh, then J21, J22, J23. So remember, just now I had told. So Jij. So Jij means uh, i rows and jth column. So with the help of this, we'll, we need to multiply. Just see here. So uh, here, what I can say. So f of. So this formula I want to apply for J11. So J11 means J11 means we need to apply the values of what here. F of x so what is the value of uh, j11 for value of x is what here 0.3 and next g of y so uh, uh, it is 0.7 so f f of x i means 0.7 into 0.3 so 0.3 into 0.7 will get this answer 0.3 into 0.7 will get this first first row first column result this is how much here so this will be 0.21 so this value i will enter here it will be 0.21 fine similarly we'll go for j12 j12 that is nothing but j12 means what here 0.5 into or else f of x first 0.7 into 0.5 0.7 into 0.5 that is 0.35. So this is 
so this value I will enter here this is 0.35 next j13 will work out so j of 13 is equal to so f of x into this third value of your uh, uh, y that is 0.7 into 0.2 which is nothing but 0.14 so this value we have to enter here so you have to prepare one more table there you have to apply that is 1.4 so first row is completed first row but three columns here so uh, this is y values y1 y2 y3 with the x1 value similarly we need to work out for uh, uh, second value i will go directly here just see so no need to work out just i have shown you how it will work out the j21 means what happens here we need to multiply so point this value okay so first row completed so here point 3 into point 3 is point 0 9 then point 5 into point 3 it is point 1 5 then point 2 into point 3 that is point 6 0 6 so in this way the table completed so point 7 plus point 3 is 1 so point 3 plus point 5 plus point 2 is 1 so this completes a table we call this joint probability distribution table once we completed we know that so in the question they have given the marginal distribution or else you can take that so marginal distribution for 2 5 8 it is 0 0.3 0 0.5 point 2 and for x value so x 1 2 it is 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 with respect to these values so we will check out uh, how to work out for what here covariance of x y now so once we prepare a table so we have completed till here so they have said find the joint uh, distribution of x and y we have completed also verify that covariance result it is coming out here zero they are asking to whether it is true or false means they have asked to verify that one so now we will see that part so as we know that so covariance of x y is given by expectation of x y minus mu x into mu y so to fulfill this covariance we need to get the result of expectation of x y uh, mu of x and mu of y separately so firstly i want to work out for max mu of x that is expectation of x so this we need to work out from marginal distribution so for x data we need to go here so that is 1 into 0.7 plus 2 into 0.3 so directly we need to work out so it is bracket of 1 into 0.7 plus 2 into 0.3 so resultant is how much here 1.3 so mu of x you got therefore I will say that mu x is nothing but what here 1.3 so similarly we need to work out for mu of y that is from the question it is minus 2 into 0.3 bracket close plus 5 into 0.5 plus 8 into 0.2 so then we will see the calculation what happens here for this so it will be 1 into minus 2 ok just a minute so it is minus 2 into 0.3 ok minus 2 into 0 0.3 next is 5 into 0.5 plus 5 into 0 0.5 and next you will get it as what here 8 into 0.2 so here on simplification the result will be, will be uh, it will be 3.5 so this is the value of mu of 1 now so we got the value of mu of x mu of y so we can enter here now we need to work out for expectation of xy so again we know that the expectation of xy is given by it is summation i summation j xi y, yj of j of i j means from the table we need to work out these all so we need to just i will read here 1 into minus 2 into point to 1 plus 1 into 5 into 0 0.35 plus 1 into 8 into 0 0.14 and we have to continue like that so we will simplify for this uh, expectation of xy by taking both the rows 
with each column of y so that is 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.21 means you just uh, 1 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 plus 1 into 5 into 0 0.35 we will continue and I uh, will complete like that plus this 1 into 5 into 0 0.35 plus 1 into 8 into 0 0.14 plus 2 into minus 2 into 0 0.09 this is second row plus 2 into 5 into 0 0.15 plus 2 into 8 into 0 0.06 so on simplifying this you will get each bracket as this first bracket as minus 0 0.42 plus 1.75 the result of second bracket plus 1.12 third bracket minus next bracket is point minus 0 0.36 plus 1.5 plus 0 0.6 0 0.96 so Finally, on simplification, expectation of x, y will be, it is 4.55. So, we got the mu x, mu y and we got the expectation of x, y. So, we will apply these results in what here? Now, in the covariance. So, therefore, therefore, covariance of x, y is equal to expectation of x y we got 4.55 minus so mu x we got 1.3 and mu y we got 3.5 so with the help of this we got the result if we simplify result will be 0 so thus we can conclude it that thus the result covariance of x y is equal to 0 for independent random variable x and y is verified one more thing I want to clear you if covariance is uh, becoming zero so we can blindly say that the two variables x and y are independent if they are not then sometimes it will be independent or sometimes it will be not independent but most of the case if covariance becomes zero we can say that it is what you are independent so with the